that Cesar's demonic offspring should visit the sacred ground my Nathan is buried in is abhorrent to me. I hope you spat on him where he stood. Mm. I did better. I kept talking about Nathan, all of his goodness and decency, and all the things Maxie loves about him. Ah, oh, my head doctor. It's moments like these when you make me proud. How did Heinrich respond? Well, it bugged him, but he never veered from his whole I am not my father's son mantra. Good. Let him believe that. Do everything to yourself. And maybe he would follow in our father's footsteps. He may be a liar and a murderer, but Heinrich is no Caesar. But, I mean, maybe he doesn't need to be. Maybe he just needs to be good enough at being the bad guy that even you won't be able to catch him. What then? I told him that Lisa Albrecht had been released from Steinmauer, that she was probably heading right for him. And he admitted to deframing her, did he? He did. And, uh, Ray Michael Baldwin. Why would you arrange a hit only to thwart it yourself later? Fit of conscience, change of strategy. But why would Peter order the hit on Franco in the first place? Well, as you know, Franco was having the procedure that originally gave him true Kane's memories reversed. And one of the possible outcomes of the second procedure is that the memory will become more intense, more vivid. Andrew knew something that Peter didn't want to become common knowledge. Peter's good at making people disappear who get too close to the truth. Yeah. Like he, he tried with Andre Maddox. Yeah, he arranged the attack on Maddox. And that means... He arranged for Drew's plane to go down. Heinrich is weak. He believes he can be a good man, worthy of his scarecrow mother, worthy to take my Nathan's place in Maxie and James's life. He is desperate to maintain this illusion. So much so that he's forgotten that it's only a mask. And sooner or later, it will crack. All I'm hearing is posturing. Please tell me you have an actual plan. Because the wedding is right on top of us. You are right, Britta. My operation is moving too slowly. Time to confront the beast in its lair. A fortuitous turn of events. Posing as a potential investor, I called Maxie's assistant to inquire about drinks tonight. The assistant informed me that Maxie has dinner plans with her fiancé, thus presenting a perfect opportunity. For what? <laughs> a visit to Maxie and Peter's humble abode, of course. What a pity they won't be home. <laughs> working hard to make sure that people don't learn the true nature of his crimes. Yeah. And that brings us back to Franco Baldwin. Right. And Franco's been hearing Peter's voice in his head, which is really Drew's, Drew's memories. Yeah. Peter put news that Franco Baldwin's tumor had returned all over the internet. Mm -hmm. That was to discredit him. In case he figured out what he was actually remembering. And... And the only time that Drew would remember Peter's voice in connection with Shiloh would be... Drew's yeah. abduction in Afghanistan. Right. So Peter was really... He was working with Faison and Helena all along, right? Anna, Peter may have told me that months ago. I didn't say anything to you because, because what? I because wanted to believe it was all in the past. I wanted to believe he had redeemed himself, but I realized the redemption was all a lie. I'm sorry. But I've been the one who's been defending him to everyone. You know, to Robert and Jason. Finn. Um, I, I just blinded myself to who he really is. Which actually makes me just as culpable in all the harm that he's done. 